You must know by now that web designers and developers, we love to have portfolios on our websites where we showcase work we've done or things we're working on. And a great way to do that is with mockups. Now, there are many ways you can do this. Photoshop, GIMP, Photopea, Adobe XD, Figma. There's loads of things you could do. But there are some three websites out there that you can use where you can generate your mockups or create them and have them looking pretty slick and good when you add them to your portfolio. I'm gonna go through some of them right now and all of the ones I'm looking at are free for you to use. It shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that I'm using Canva, I use it quite a lot. Now if we go over to this example page I've got here, don't worry about the size of it, you can have like a square image, rectangular image, anything you want. Over here I've already pulled through uh, two screenshots, one of a mobile size, on one of a desktop, you could do tablet, you could take screenshots of uh, other bits of your website. There is a really good extension called Go Full Page, which I do recommend. Once you've installed Go Full Page, it's really good. When you go to your website, over here you'll have a hammer, it says Go Full Page, you just click it. And what it does is it kind of goes down the full page of your website, as you can see right now, and it takes screenshots and you get a full page shot. So if I go like this and I say, save the image as, I don't know, we'll just save it like that. And then I leave this and now go into my Canva. And if I upload it, I can actually get a full size screen size. So let's just pull that through. That's gonna upload over into here. Now, the reason why we're in Canva is because if you go over to elements, you just type in frame. They have loads of these frames, you know, different sizes. You can use circular, rectangular, all of that. But when you scroll down, you then get uh, like a, a Mac one. You also have uh, the tablet. You can have a black frame or a white frame. You can change the color over here if you want. And you also have mobile phone as well. Now, here's what's really cool about these. If I go back over to my uploads, if I pick up this image here and I drop it in, can you see that? But here's the reason I took the full screen, which was this. You know the one I just did with go full page. Let me now drop, let me just uh, remove uh, this image here. Okay, I could drop it in here. I could also drop it into here as well. Why have I done that? Watch what happens when I now crop. Look at this. I can pick where I want the shot to be. So let's just go with that one there, hit done. And over here, let's crop it. And you know what? We won't start at the top because we've already covered that. Let's go with something like that right? So you can take a full page and you can basically scale it or put it as to how you want it to do it. Instead of doing that, we could have done a more, you know, a bespoke layout. You know, the ones that you normally see on websites where they have their mock-ups. You know, you can start to do stuff like that. Again, rearrange it accordingly, put it how you want, transparent background, and away you go. A bit of effort is required, but Canva is free. Screenshots, drop them in, away you go. Now let's go on to some other websites that I think are pretty damn cool, okay? And all of these are free. This one is called Magic Mockups. Look at the images that you have here. You have loads, you have laptop, phone, tablet, iMac, right? But look at all these images. You even got one of a frame. I, I mean, I really like these ones here with the wooden table. I've got to say, these just like, I think they're brilliant. Let me pick this image here. I am now, you can either type in a URL. I have to be honest though, I have found that this URL doesn't always work very well. Let me show you. I know my website is functioning absolutely well, but the URL over here, it's bringing over this broken pattern. So I would say, don't worry about that. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over to my desktop and I'm gonna pick over one of those screenshot images. There we go. I mean, I mean, look at that. And here's what's really clever about this once you've done it. If I now click over here, it brings it through. If I go down to this one, it brings it through. I mean, when you get to here, it doesn't work because it's not the right size. So you might go over here now and go, right, okay, let's go get the mobile one, for instance, something like that. Wouldn't you love to be presenting a website or something like that to someone? What about this one now here? UI.dev, am I responsive? This is another really, really good one. I really like this. I mean, what I love about this though is that you could put in a URL, send this to a client, and all they would do is literally like scroll down and look at their website. Now, what you need to do to get your URL in is just scroll down over here and put it in. And there you go. But before you take your screenshot, if you just click on the screen and then move your mouse over one of the devices, look at this. I can go over here and I can start to literally rearrange the content to be, how do I want to present it back? Because 
you know when I see mock-ups and they're all showing the top like this, right? It, it gets a bit boring. It really does get a bit boring. Try and show a bit of variety. But here's what's really funky. This is what I think is super funky. You've added in the URL, right? I'm going to go over here to like any one of these pages. So let's go to our uh, mastery modules. It's gone to the page. And I can now scroll up and do this. I can go over here, maybe click the navigation drop down toggle bar. What the heck? And let's go to subscribe. And let's now do that as well. So, <laughs> I don't know how to express how crazy this is, but it is it is interactive in a way. Now, before you take your screenshot, you do have the option to make it white as well. And again, you get that lovely shadow effect. Take your screenshot, stick it in Canva, do what you want with it, add it to your website. This is flipping good, okay? Flipping, flipping good. Then we have uh, techcine.com multi mockup, okay? And what you don't want to do is start clicking any of these links because these are obviously advertising links that they have on here. So what you do is you just pop in your web address up there and hit generate. Now you do have some other um, wording over here like background color and things like that. The only problem I have with this background color though is that you can't do hex codes. So if you've got a particular branding on your website, you might have a problem with this. So just leave it as white or strip the background out. You can decide if you're going to have all of these devices or just have some of them. And if you're going to have uh, large mockups, you can also change the angle. I'll show you that in a moment. Let's do generate. There we go. Now, again, very similar to what we did before on the other website, you can go over and you can uh, arrange them. You can even go over and actually click the icons again. What I do want to just highlight to you, though, is the fact that you do have angle. Now, I'm not too sure about these, if I'm honest. The angles look a little bit distorted for my liking. I get it, but it feels a little bit forced. So I would say just leave it on the front because to be honest, I think the front works well. And of course, we have website mockup generator. This is one that a lot of people will be aware of. Let's just pop that in with my URL like that and hit submit. It takes a bit of a while to do. And I mean, you know, it is currently doing it. It's taking its time. There we go. But what you now get are loads and loads of different images. What's super good about this though is that you can just hit uh, download all images and it will download all of them. This is really good, but this is the one that everyone goes on about. However, however, I, I mean, the trouble I have with this is that it's not interactive. If I had to now tell you my top four, okay, my top four of all the ones I've shown you, this is number four. I do like, okay, but you can't interact with it. You could argue, though, the same would go with Canva. Whereas, but then again, with Canva, if you get the full page screen screenshot, you can interact with it, but then you have to have multiple screenshots. But the great thing about it is that is I can rearrange the items however I want and even add further images or styling behind it. So this one would rank number three. But my two favorite ones are, well, this is my second favorite which is the UI.dev one, where, you know, you go down and you add in your URL and then you get this interactive platform. The images are set in stone, but you can arrange the what you see on screen and what screen you're actually on. But my favorite by far, even though, and this is the weird bit, even though you can't interact with it, I'm kind of contradicting myself all over the place right now, even though you can't interact with it, the images you get with this, are flipping brilliant, right? I mean, they are amazing. If you want the clean look, this one is the one you want to go for. If you want to compose your shots in a more funky way, you got to go with Canva, right? But if you just want that clean looking, wow, this is the one to go for. That being said, I need to give you a warning. If loads of people start using this design, it will show up. Right, it will show up like a white hair on my head. Okay, if you all start using similar images like this, it start. Everyone's going to notice it, right? Like I'll go, oh yeah, I know where they got that from, right? Whereas with Canva, you can be very bespoke, and obviously with here, you you know, yeah, loads of mock-up generators look something like this, right? But 
there is something that has to be said that this could become very common. Then again, though, I still love it. Look at that table. Just look at the grain of that table. I could spend all day going on about mock-up generators, but I don't want to bore you to death. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. The links are in the description. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.